Okay, it says the zoo sponsors a one-day contest to name a baby elephant. Zoo visitors deposited entries, ballots, in a special box between noon, which is time equals zero, and 8 p.m. The number of entries in the box so many hours after noon is modeled by a differentiable function E. Okay, it's important to note that E is an amount. E is the number of entries in the box. E is not a rate. So E is an amount. Number of entries in the box. Values would be in hundreds of entries. That could be important. Hundreds of entries are shown. Use the data in the table to approximate the rates. We're, we have an amount, but we are approximating a rate. The rate would be E prime, the rate at which the entries, you know, the rate in hundreds of entries per hour at which the entries were being deposited. So E represents how many entries have been deposited at different times. We're looking for the rate, we're looking for E prime. So I remembered this, went to my golden notes, looked this up. I'm trying to approximate E prime at hold on a second I'm trying to approximate E prime at hour 6 and what I know is that at hour 7 there were 2100 entries in the box at hour 5, I'm just using this concept at hour 5, there were only 1,300 entries in the box. And that was over a two-hour time difference. You can stop here. Put down the units. This is hundreds of entries. and it's per hour. If you have that on your paper, uh, they will give you one point. Just to hopefully make sense of this to make it easier to remember on future FRQs, this is really 8 over 2, which is 4 or 400 entries per hour. which makes sense. There were 1,300 entries at hour 5. If we increase the number of entries by 400 per hour, we'll end up with 2,100 two hours later. Uh, that's what this is telling you. That's why we have approximated the rate at which E is changing. It's worth one point.